Hi all, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to discuss PDV in SAS and we will understand and learn how PDV works at the time of compilation. So as you can see I have uh, mentioned few uh, rules and the programming guidelines uh, about PDV. So let's go, uh, go through and understand step by step. So PDV is basically program data vector uh, that works at the time of compilation. This is uh, actually very important to understand uh, like how SAS reads the data. Let's start. So PDB is basically nothing but a logical area and that creates during the data step processing. And uh, there are few rules so while reading the data and we have to be very sure about the rules so that if there would be any error or any problem so we would uh, will be very e it will be very easier for us to identify and rectify so let's start so i have just created a small snippet here and i will show you how sas is going to read this data and likewise sas will read the data whether you create within sas or if you are uh, reading a uh, data from outside from external resources and at the same time uh, SAS creates two automatic variable known as uh, underscore n underscore and underscore error underscore which is very helpful for uh, you know identify or to understand your uh, reading methodology right so we will explore and we will see how this works now let's see this area now here I am creating a data set by the name of a read where I am providing three input variables id, name and age. I am considering name variable as my character. The reason I am using dollar along with. Now these are my variables that I want to see how it is going to work in SAS. So before I start let's take a quick uh, look on this these rules. So the rule number one that at the rate one what does it mean that means SAS always reads from the first position so this is the pointer so the pointer should be one if you are not changing it to some another you know point or some another location so by default it should be one so for example this data I have to read so pointer will start from this location as you can see this column one so that's mean this is a very first position if I move my pointer ahead you can see change in this number see this so that's mean pointer should be here all the time when it's reading uh, your data like this so when I'm talking about the second observation second report record it's again one and for third one it's one likewise no matter how many observations or records are present in your raw data as you uh, as a raw data so this rule is to start from position one this rule number two is it always reads from left to right so this is the way of reading data left to right left to right like this now the rule number three reads line by line record by record what does it mean this is very important to understand that's mean this pointer will never jump to the next line either from this or from this or from this like this until it reads all the defined observations under your all defined variable for example if I don't have any data like this my data is something like this so what does it mean like 11 will go to the ID now Sam will go to the name now I do not have anything for age so SAS will not move here and will not read start reading the data from the next line so you will be expecting an output like this now for example if I take this so you will be expecting an output something like this right but of course not we are not going to get this output why we will see this later right but first understand that it reads line by line right and always reads the complete data this is the reason that the pointer will not jump 
and uh, after skipping the missing value so basically what uh, it does that it always reads the complete data so here we don't have the complete data we will see this L right now i'm putting some value here just to understand first how it is reading then we will emit the values to encounter uh, the scenarios and we will then discuss on that and the fourth rule is it leaves the date it leaves the extra data if any what does it mean extra data means uh, for example if i have uh, like this mail also and uh, pam is female david is male some in more information like this but here i have not defined any variable that you know describes uh, the sex of my uh, names like uh, of my candidate or the people i define here so sas is not going to read and consider the this data absolutely not we will see this now first let's compile this uh, then I'll put all these informations again just to see and then I'll explain uh, PDB in another way let's see the output so we have uh, compiled our data mm, and everything is fine now let's see it was male female and again male now let's read this data as you can see i don't have male female stuff in my raw data only id name and age go back and check your log nothing is wrong right see why this has happened is just because we have not defined the variables and we are giving extra information in a data sas will definitely not going to consider this it's just because based on the pointer rule like how sas reads like it scans the keyword starting with at the rate one this value will go to the id then it encounters and delimiter default delimiter is blank as we all know this now after this we are hitting this value this will come under the variable of name after after this again there is a delimiter now this value will go to the age variable the moment the last variable will get the value the pointer sitting here will move to the next line right so this is what read line it reads line by line record by record and always reads the complete data so the, my data is completed here as based on my defined variables i'm completing it here for example if uh, if we have uh, sex also like this so it will go up to here and will read these informations also see this now you have uh, id name age and sex also right now i'm taking this off now i have this much only so sas will read up to here and this will uh, be left like this only sas is not going to consider this data because we have not defined any variable and obviously where sas will going to feed this data under which variable as we do not have any extra variable so the moment the last variable will get the value the pointer will move again to the first position which is at the rate one right now the same story will repeat and again the pointer will be here after this the pointer will move here then we will read it and the compilation will be done now this is how sas reads the data now as i told you there are two automatic variables which is underscore n and uh, underscore n underscore and underscore error underscore what does it mean what is the use of this let's see uh, I'll explain you uh, in another way so for example uh, this is your input buffer input buffer is your uh, where we define uh, uh, our variables right so let's see my ID uh, ID is like one variable which is numeric then name this 
one I defined as a character and then I defined age variable now after this this is uh, my compilation phase where SAS will read this data so now I'm explaining this background thing how SAS is reading data so this is my defined variables and uh, at the same time SAS will check whether it defined as a character or a numeric so here this is uh, this variable defined as a numeric and this one is like coming as a character and numeric and though I have not changed the length or uh, make any modifications in length so it will come with the default length which is eight, 8 characters right now let's start reading this data 11 SAM 32 so what will happen here uh, 11 will come at this position and after this uh, the name will come and then age age will be here now the moment pdv fills the information up to the last defined variable it gives the information that i have completed one row right so this will be something like this that one so that's mean underscore and underscore equal to one that's mean one completed observation and now as I cannot see any problem with my data as I'm feeding numeric at the place of numeric character at the place of character in this case I can stuff anything because character can take anything special characters number or numeric so we do not uh, we don't we need not to worry for feeding data for character so now age I'm giving a numeric so that's mean there is no problem in my data so what will happen SAS will result this So underscore n underscore equal to 1 underscore error underscore equal to 0 that's mean we have completed a record with no error right now let's go back uh, this is uh, the second record we are reading it so this is uh, uh, let me wait it is 22 pam and uh, this is 34 now again same thing will repeat so here your underscore thing will be turned to 2 equal to 2 and uh, as I cannot see any error so this would be your this now for this for the third one we have uh, 33 David and 21 and for this this value should come as 3 and underscore error underscore equal to zero now this is what happens at the level of PDB I will show you these things also in action now first understand this when I'm doing this it means I'm compiling my data record by record line by line so that is why this gives like this is the surety that ensures that I have completed my one record then only I will jump to this next record now here you can see underscore n underscore equal to 2 there is no error underscore uh, n underscore equal to 3 uh, and again there is no error that's mean in my output uh, I will see three defined observations right now for example I don't have this 32 so I'm missing this value so what will happen this value when this value will not be here then SAS will what SAS will do like this is in behavior of SAS to read the data continuously so once it fulfill all the defined variable then only it jumps to the next line now this is uh, little tricky here uh, try to understand what I'm going to explain like now uh, assume that uh, uh, let me clean this now assume um, let me make a pdv sector now, for example this is uh, your uh, let's say this section is your um, your 11 then sam now i don't have anything here i'm not considering i'm not saying that i, I have something here right so let me take this off for a while 
uh, also this let me take this all right now this is a very interesting part to understand and learn right w what is going to happen here so now 11 sam is here as you can see i i do not have anything here at this position uh, let my pointer come up oh it's very sometimes difficult to handle this anyways just understand uh, let me take this mm -hmm. oh yeah all right so what we will expect here for age as there is nothing at this place so it's not something that sas is going to give a dot or a missing value something as we do not have anything and sas is definitely not going to do until we will not define it so we are not giving anything so what will happen here 11 will go to the id right and this sam will go to the name field right now as i don't have anything so what will happen here sa age will pick this value in your continuous way now this 22 will be here now understand after reading this your pointer is sitting here right now when i can see my pointer is here what will happen this spam and 32 will never be in my data never ever it's just because now they are behaving something like i just earlier feeded male female sex stuff right it was not coming it's just because that was considering as an extra data while reading it so now this spam and 34 is considering as an extra data is just because your underscore and underscore is completing by covering these two lines so now i could write here underscore and underscore equal to one and of course there is no error see there is no data error right though we can see something is going to not what we were we are expecting but still i cannot consider this as, as an error it's just because sas is reading with its natural behavior so left to right reads line by line so this is completing one line here it's not something a line is like this so now i'm completing my line here right now when my pointer is here so you just see this leave the extra data so after this this is my extra data so sas will not going to read this after this the pointer will move to the next line it's just because uh, always read the complete data yeah i'm completing my data here now this is my extra data and now the pointer will move to the next line so leave the extra data right now the pointer will be here so what will be in my output 33 david and 21 and what I'll get here, I will get underscore and underscore equal to 2 with no error. Make sense? Let's go back and run this and see the output, how it is coming like. Now see this, 11, Sam, 22. That was actually the ID of uh, uh, ID of Pam, right? So 11 Sam 22. Now pointer is sitting here, considering this all extra data, and the pointer will move here, and 33 David 21 will be in your output. Let's see this. See 33 David 21. This is your log. Now see this. There is no error in this. But actually, if you'll see, there's a problem, right? The problem is your ID is considering as the age of your, you know, Sam. But actually, it is not like this. See this? Now, this is one way to handle this that you are defining uh, and saying that I'm missing a value. So then it's not a problem, right? See this. 11 Sam, this like. 22 Pam and 33 David. Everything is fine now. Now let's see other way. Roll of underscore n and underscore error. So for example, I'm giving a value here. Let's say I'm giving uh, something like this mail. Uh, let's not give here. Let it be here. Now I'm running this.
Hmm, it's taking time. Now see this, your output, right? There is something wrong in age. It's just because I have given a character value at the place of numeric. See, I'm defining here as a numeric, but I'm giving a character value. Let's go back and check your log. Now, this is something what I want to explain. Can you see this underscore error underscore equal to one? That's mean there is an error. When we have zero, that's mean there is no error. Now, where is the error? Underscore n underscore equal to two. That's mean we have something wrong in record number two. So let's see ID is properly captured. There's no problem in name also. There's something wrong in age. So what I'll do here, I'll go back in my program and we'll see. Oh yeah, you are right. Something wrong in my age. So let me rectify or probably I'll ask my client or the data provider that I have something wrong in my age, right? So let's consider this one also. Let's say male is here. So let's see. Now there is problem in your age. I'll go back and check your log. Now this time underscore and underscore equal to three. So there is no problem in line one, line two. There's a problem in record number three. ID is okay, name is fine. There's a problem in age. Can you see this? So now this is what, uh, th these are how like, they're very important to understand. I hope you understand, understood this, the importance of this, right? So the importance of this, the underscore error underscore will explain you the type of data error. And this will explain you uh, the, where is the error actually, right? So this is how PDV works uh, while reading the data. Hope you have enjoyed this session. See you in next lecture. Thank you very much.